let's learn about lung development today the lung development begins on fourth week of entire uterine life approximately on day 22 the process is divided into five stages the stages are embryonic lasting from 4 to 7 weeks pseudo glandular stage from 7 to 16 weeks canalicular stage from 16 to 26 weeks sacular stage 26 weeks to birth and alveolar stage from 32 weeks to 8 years so weibel's model of airway branching there are 23 generation of airways 0 trachea 1 bronchi which includes primary secondary and tertiary bronchi and 2 to 4 bronchioles and 5 to 16 are terminal bronchioles up to terminal bronchioles they are known as conducting zones because no gas exchange occurs in these zones in 17 18 19 are respiratory bronchioles and 20 21 22 generation are known as alveolar duct and 23 is known as alveolar sac so these zones are known as transitional and respiratory zone because they play a role in gas exchange now let us discuss about each stage separately first is the embryonic stage which lasts from 4 to 7 weeks during the fourth week of intrauterine life the lung bud or respiratory diverticulum appears as an outgrowth from the ventral wall of the foregut as the bud grows downwards it is get separated from the tracheoesophageal septum except at the laryngeal orifice and forms trachea and two lateral outpouchings known as bronchial buds at the beginning of fifth week the bronchial bud enlarges to form right and left main bronchi which then respectively forms secondary and tertiary bronchi the developing lung bud imaginate and expand into the pericardio peritoneal canal which is a primitive pleural cavity and gets covered by the visceral pleura and parietal pleura of the three primitive germ layers the endoderm will form epithelial elements and mesoderm will form connective tissue elements the pulmonary artery forms from the sixth aortic arch and lobar and segmental branches are developed at the end of week 7 at the end of embryonic stage larynx trachea lobes and bronchopulmonary segment are formed the embryonic stage is followed by the pseudo glandular stage which lasts from 7 to 16 weeks at the beginning of this stage the developing lung resembles a glandular structure because of the presence of cuboidal epithelium the epithelial cells differentiate into cuboidal cells which represents immature type 2 pneumocytes the mesoderm will develop into cartilage and smooth muscles the important feature of pseudo glandular stage is branching morphogenesis which forms first 16 generation of the airways which is also known as pre snr airways the branching morphogenesis can occur by domain branching planar branching or orthogonal branching in domain branching circumferential airway develops from the parent air in planar branching they branch into two daughter airways in the antero posterior direction in orthogonal branching they branch into four airways at the end of pseudo glandular stage the first 16 generation of the airways are completed and the adult configuration of the pre snr vascular structure is also completed at this stage so at the end of pseudo glandular up to terminal bronchioles and pre snr vascular structures are formed the next stage is the canalicular stage which lasts from 16 to 26 weeks the canalicular stage marks the division between the conducting and respiratory zone elongation and growth of the terminal bronchiole occurs to form the acinus the acinus are composed of respiratory bronchioles and give rise to 3 to 6 alveolar ducts in this stage intensive angiogenesis of splanching mesenchyme occurs surrounding the acinus which creates a dense capillary network to form blood gas barrier the cuboidal epithelial cells will flatten and differentiate into type 1 and type 2 pneumocytes the lamellar body starts appearing in type 2 pneumocytes at the end of this stage some respiration is possible due to the formation of gas exchanging area
This is followed by the saccular stage. The saccular stage marks the expansion of the gas exchange area. The growth of the terminal airways decreases the amount of surrounding mesenchymal tissue and forms cluster of enlarged air space known as terminal sac or saccules. Each saccule is separated by thick primary septa containing the double capillary network which supplies the immature alveoli. The capillaries invade thin wall of saccule to form blood air barrier and surfactant synthesis appears at this stage and secreted by week 32 in sufficient amount to prevent atelectasis. The final stage is the annular stage which lasts from 32 weeks to 8 years post birth. At 32 weeks, immature alveoli starts to form. After birth, the immature alveoli and terminal saccules undergo secondary separation to create terminal alveoli which continues until 3 years of life. As the alveoli maturation progresses, the double capillary network which is formed during the saccular stage fuse into the single network. Up to 3 years, the lung enlargement is due to increased number of alveoli and up to 8 years, the lung enlargement is due to increased number and increased size of the alveoli. So, the mature lung is formed at the 8 years of age. So clinical significance, preterm babies are at more risk of ARDS, infections and increased risk of asthma, decreased FEV1 and decreased exercise tolerance due to incomplete lung maturation. So coming to lung agenesis, aplasia and hypoplasia. In agenesis, all the three lung parenchyma, bronchus and lung vasculature is absent. In aplasia, only rudimentary blind ending bronchus is present with the absence of lung parenchyma and lung vasculature. In hypoplasia, the lung parenchyma is rudimentary, the bronchus is present and vasculature is less developed. Thank you.